Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Urban Gameplay Gaming Countdown. It's Mad Pepper, counting down the hottest games. Yo, yo, what's good peeps? As promised, another countdown video for you all. And in this video, we're going to be reflecting on my top 10 hardest boss battles of all time. This certainly is a list for those who can relate. You've slaved for days, weeks, maybe even months through all the levels, trials and battles of your latest game. Now you're at the boss and you just can't seem to figure out how to beat him. Whether it takes lightning quick reflexes, advanced knowledge of the boss weaknesses or even sometimes something else and you're just missing that last element in order to defeat him. I've been through this multiple times so I definitely know the feeling so I thought putting together a list like this would definitely be entertaining. Now don't get me wrong, some of the bosses that I might call out, you might consider them easy during your playthrough of the game as obviously some of us have different skill levels in playing games but in my personal experiences these bosses gave me the hardest time. There were so many bosses that I thought of after compiling this list which I left out which makes me think I can do this type of top 10 so many times because there were so many different bosses in different games that definitely frustrated me. I would only be selecting one boss from a franchise as most games have at least 3 or 4 bosses that might give you a hard time and will make you want to smash your control apart. Anyway peeps I'll try and run through this list as quickly as possible so that being said let's get into it and check out my top 10 hardest boss battles of all time. Number 10 now Diddy Kong Racing is among my favourite racing games on the Nintendo 64 but when I got to Wizpig that nearly changed that. I was drifting, zipping, accelerating, steering with pinpoint accuracy but it seemed that Wizpig always seemed to win the race. No word of a lie, I must have played this race close to a hundred times and the issue was I didn't actually know that there was a green boost in the game as back then there was no internet or YouTube for tips or tricks or anything. After so many races I did eventually figure out how to beat him but trust me the green boost still presented a challenge, it still didn't mean that it was an easy race nonetheless. Number 9 Now on a real level when I first came across this boss my Xbox 360 pad nearly became best friends with the wall as I just could not beat Poison Ivy. I have seen so many videos on YouTube with people making the battle look extremely easy like a walk in a park but from my experience playing this boss it felt like the impossible. Every time I thought I got the hang of it she switched up and beat the crap out of me. There were so many hard bosses in this game but for me Poison Ivy definitely stood out as a menace from my personal experience whilst playing this game. Number 8 Now for me Resident Evil Code Veronica is among my favourite Resident Evil games of all time and when I came across this tyrant on the plane I hardly had any ammo and it was mainly my knife as the primary weapon that I could use so you could imagine how stressed out this fighting experience was. The tyrant was insanely annoying and took me multiple fights to get past him. For those who played this boss must have experienced some form of hardship whilst trying to get past him because he was just so frustrating. Number 7 Now believe me when I say pretty much all the bosses in Bloodborne present a challenge for me but German is definitely one tricky bugger, his attacks and dodges are incredibly quick, other than being faster than any person you could imagine, he has so many varied complex attacks that are designed to drive you crazy, it seems like you need to study more for this battle or face the consequences of being extremely stressed out. Number 6 now when it comes to difficult bosses, General Ram definitely took the biscuit. Looking back on it now, Gears of War was an incredible game but this boss fight was simply insane. I can't even remember how long it took me to get past him but when I definitely got past him I thought it was a sense of great achievement. Sometimes when you play bosses like this you always think other developers playing a joke on me because it just seems like everything you do just works against you and that's definitely one of the experiences I had fighting against General Ram. Number 5 now let's be real, everyone has that boss that is burned into their memory and that was no difference when I first faced Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 2. It just didn't seem to matter what I threw at him or how I attempted to attack him, nothing seemed to work. To be honest I nearly gave up playing Kingdom Hearts 2 due to this boss fight because it was so frustrating at times to time and I definitely watched quite a few videos on YouTube and yet again seen so many people walk through him like it's a walk in a park. It's insane to think how many hours this particular boss took me to complete, it was definitely outrageous but at the same time it was worth the while and this is definitely a great game. Number 4 
Yo, frustration was definitely not the word when I came up to fighting Isaac Frost in Fight Night Champion. I found the overall game not to be that much of a challenge in terms of each boxing round that you play before you get to this boss, but when I got to Frost, the frustration was real peeps. You cannot fight Frost like any other fighter in a game which I thought was a bit strange. It was definitely annoying in itself. Why would you be able to use all the skills that you've honed throughout the whole gameplay experience and not use it on a boss? Only the developers can answer that question. For those who haven't had the chance to play Isaac Frost, basically you have to sit back and block and dodge for the first two rounds, which is so annoying because each round is three minutes long, so if he catches you close to the end of the second round, you have to start again from scratch, and this was definitely one of the things that nearly made me smash my controller to pieces. Obviously bosses have to be a challenge, but there was even a time when I had to punch him in the stomach, around 70 times or so, I can't even remember the exact number, but it felt like loads of times, and that was crazy because in the second or third round of even trying to do that challenge, he might knock you out, and yet again you have to start again from scratch. All in all, all I can say is this was definitely an insane boss for me to get through, and I was so happy when I defeated him in the end. Number 3 Wow, first and foremost, those who haven't played Undertale, this is definitely a great game, but for those who fought Sans, wow, he definitely had me bugging out. I couldn't really figure out the best way to attack, so he sure gave me a run for my money. As much as he frustrated me, he is still a character that I've grown to have so much respect for, because this was definitely a great boss fight, as frustrating as it was. Some people have stated that he's easy to defeat, but through my personal experience in terms of events while playing this Undertale game, and this particular boss fight, I found Sans to be a really difficult cookie to crack. Number two! Wow, off the top of my head when I think of a boss that literally took the pee, Father Rodin definitely came to my mind. Firstly, you can't use items against Father Rodin, so it does seem like you already have the odds stacked against you. It also seems like one person figured out how to beat him and the information has been handed down since he's so incredibly hard to beat. And I definitely took a lot of tips off YouTube in order to beat this guy because he was so insane. There were so many times in the game when I couldn't even affect his health bar or I was definitely stuck on the last one. It was just endless frustration. My only advice is unless you love to torturing yourself find your way to the nearest gaming or messaging board so you don't have to read exactly how to do it if you love the challenge but at least get some tips and tricks from your friends or anyone in order to make sure that you don't go insane trying to beat this boss because i definitely had sleepless nights trying to get around how to beat him Number one. Now I definitely know some people will say that Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat 2 was harder but personally I can't even remember that far back to fighting him in that game and plus this boss was just ridiculous. Not only does he have the brutal attacks and the ability to seamlessly read your mind, he also taunts you with the snide comments like you suck, which as stupid as it sounds does add to the extra rage you feel whilst fighting this boss. I just remember countless times Shao Kahn trapping me in the corner and tripping me with his hammer, it definitely makes you so frustrated it'll make you smash your controller to pieces. I feel like if I still got up against Shao Kahn in the story mode again I'll definitely come out short because it felt like there doesn't seem to be a magic bullet or trick to beat this guy just impeccable timing or teleporting attacks now people use Raiden may find him easy and definitely say that he won't pose a major threat but for someone like me who doesn't really use Raiden in Mortal Kombat I had a real nightmare I feel like this was certainly one of the most satisfying bosses that I defeated in all time and definitely worthy of my number one pick Anyway peeps, thanks for taking the time to watch this Urban Gameplay Countdown video where we looked at my top 10 hardest bosses of all time. I tried to run through the list as quickly as possible so do let me know in the comments below which was your worst boss fight ever and whether you faced some of the bosses that I mentioned in this list. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next Urban Gameplay video, we definitely say peace out peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.